still dark. I got 936. What's going on? Cajun Randy 214. John Speedway, Indiana News. What's going on? So, city manager, uh, Kent Cagle, uh, has just now called the police, or he said he went to go call the police. Because I came up here to try to make an appointment with him. Um, no crime has been committed. He trying to tell me that I'm in restricted areas, but it's just public lobbies. And um, he basically just butt hurt. I, I actually came up here to try to make a formal appointment with him. And then also try to give him the opportunity to redeem himself from the way he treated me yesterday. You know, he he comes off very rude and condescending and, you know, just talking all over me. And it's unacceptable that, you know, my taxes go towards his salary and then you treat me like garbage. You know, I haven't done nothing to you. I haven't disrespected you in any type of way, shape or form. And, um, you know, it's, it's unacceptable the way they, that he's treating us. So if y'all got the uh, Colleen City Hall's phone number posted in the chat. Um, the city manager, his, uh, his information is in my description of all, all my videos. So you can check any one of my videos. His email is on there. And, um, you know, the, the mayor's email, everybody's email in chain of command is, is on every one of my videos. So um, we're going to stick around because I don't run from the police. So I'm not going to be riding around and they end up, you know, he ended up making up some bull, making up some false statements. And then they end up putting a warrant out for my arrest. You know, so we're going to stick around and uh, and get it squared away right here and right now. I should have just went live from the jump, but he basically, you know, chastised me and made up a bunch of lies about what I can and can't do, trying to give me some bullshit directives, and then try to tell me that I'm being disorderly because I'm asking him questions. So we on College Street. I don't know if, uh, if y'all not from the city of Colleen, this is, um, it used to be a school. This building used to be a school. You see, it still got the Colleen High School. This used to be Colleen High School. Um, see that 1923. So it's a really old building. I think they uh, end up remodeling it at some point, but um, yeah, this is City Hall now. It's, you know, home of the home of the administrative tyrants. You know. So we're just gonna stick around and see if uh KPD wanna entertain the city manager's BS. Look like we got one right here.
they just driving by. They don't want to smoke. But yeah, let me see if he. Uh, he probably bow tying that like button right now. He probably watching the live stream right now. Like he's a lie. He's a liar. <laughs> you know. But yeah, this is the type of stuff they do. You know what I'm saying? Say Avenue D School. This is a Texas historical building. Constructed to replace an earlier brick schoolhouse destroyed by fire. The present Avenue D School was built in 1923. CJ Lingbach of Dallas designed a three story building which features decorative stonework and separate entrances for girls and boys. Funds from the sale of advertising space on the auditorium curtains were used for interior furnishings. All grade levels were housed here until the 1940s when the junior high school and high school were relocated. All right. So yeah. Yeah, they out here. This is just home of the administrative tyrants. You know, I got a meeting with the mayor tomorrow. So, and he already knows about it. For what reason, I have no clue. I guess they must have had a conversation with each other about what transpired. So, yeah, I got a meeting with the mayor tomorrow. And, um, and this this and this man up here acting a plum fool. You know what I'm saying? Even and it, it kind of trickles down because now that he out here acting a fool, um, now the secretary won't even talk to him. She won't answer none of my questions. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of ridiculous how. You know, people in in um, in positions of, of quote unquote power just kind of uses it just to serve serve themselves instead of serving the people that's paying them to provide the service. You know what I'm saying? So let me go ask them if. Uh, let me go ask him if uh, if he's if, if, if on the way, so I ain't wasting anybody's time. He talking my some restricted space. I came on the elevator. You don't see no restricted signs. It says. Second floor, the city attorney is this way. You know, we got like levels. It tells you if you want to go see somebody, you go up to this level. You'll see no restricted area signs. Look at this. City attorney, city manager, city secretary. Does, does that don't look like a public lobby? Tell my you're in the private office. No, that's the office right there. How you doing? This is, why is the door locked? Why is the door locked? Yeah. Uh, because it's yeah, upper chambers. Are you a uh, 
Of course. <laughs> you know, you're still in my auditor. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> right, what's your name and title? Uh, I'm the city auditor. The city editor? City auditor. Oh, city auditor. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Matthew Grady. Matthew Grady, nice to meet you, Matthew. Um, so the city manager just uh, just called the police on me. He said that this was a restricted, uh, a private private area. Where's the signs at? Right. Uh, let's see. Isn't that um that's public information right there on that wall, right? So I'm I'm kind of confused as to. Why there's no signage that says that's that's deeming the, the space restricted? Uh, you hopped up. Talk to the city manager, right? Yeah, city. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that's telling me this. So who's the next person that I speak to about it? You know? I uh, yeah, probably uh, communications. Communications. Where can I find them at? Yeah, what about the um? What about the um? The city attorney. They'll probably know, right? Are they in this building? The city attorney is downstairs, yeah. Um, so can you ask the manager if he, because he said he called the police and they still have a case. So can you verify that he called or, because I don't want to be still waiting around and waiting around and they're not showing up, you know? I don't, I don't know. Can you ask him? He was just right over there. Uh, let me check, hang on. Thank you so much. <laughs> Joe Cool, what's going on? News now in California with the business. Jackson County, Kansas, Cop Watch, what's the business? Bro Zion, how you doing? Mike Kushi, Mazenga Von Batman. Hello, ma'am. You see how they treat the public. Good morning, ma'am. <laughs> you see how you treat the public? <laughs> I ain't mad at the bug. Boy. Hey, Matthew. You see how they do? You can't get no answers. I'm just asking questions. I'm not disrespecting nobody. I'm not cussing out nobody. I'm not. I'm not even raising my voice, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get some answers. That's all I'm trying to do is get some answers and they they get to running, ducking and hiding, and locking doors and and um you know just just disrespecting the public. Boy, what's going on? That's crazy. So I guess we not gonna get no answers today. <sighs> That's crazy. <laughs> City manager Kent Cagle. We gotta we gotta come up with a nickname for his ass. Ma'am, can you uh, call up there to your office and find out if the police on their way or not so I can be on my way, please? I don't have that number. Can you call? No, I'm saying call up to the office and because they said they called the police, right? So I'm just trying to find out if that... I'm so sorry. So you can't help me out? You're the secretary and you, you can't help me out? Or you're the, the uh, receptionist? Ma'am, thank you. I'm Call up to the office just like you did when I came in the door to tell everybody that I'm in the building. No, I needed you to ask them if they actually called so I can go. He wants me to say if somebody actually called so he can go. 
the city manager said he called, so I need to find out if the city manager actually called. She's gonna call. So she's gonna make the call. Excuse me, ma'am. Say, so anybody just gonna annoy me today? Excuse me, ma'am. Diane. Miss Morrow. Nothing. Can you call Diane for me, please? Or can you find out if what's what's the answer so I can? I can't be interrupted every five seconds. What are you here for then? He wants to talk to somebody upstairs. I just need to run away. That's all I need to know so I can go, please. Okay, we left the message. So we have to wait until they call. Let the message with who? <laughs> who did they leave a message with, man? What are you talking about? Leave the message with the person you want to know the answer that you're asking me. What is so what am I asking you, ma'am? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. That's a <laughs> wow. This is crazy. <laughs> this is ridiculous, boy. What kind of what kind of people they got working up in here? <laughs> wow. We need the taxpayers need to get a refund up in man. We need a refund. This is crazy. Taxpayers are getting swindled. There's no work being done. There's no justice being served. This is crazy, bro. <laughs> wow. So, can somebody call up to, uh, let me see. Can somebody call us to the, to the police station and find out if if there's a call for service currently for the city hall, please. So I don't want to be wasting y'all time. You know what I'm saying? The um the city the police number should be in the description of this video, if y'all don't know it. But I don't want to be sitting up here wasting y'all time. But I will be here at the city hall later on, so I'll probably go back live again later on. <laughs> Yeah, that's the number, 254-501-8830. You know, I don't want to be sitting up here waiting on waiting on somebody that's not coming. News Down California said, what the heck? Cowboys, eight panel, what's going on? Jonathan Mazzilli, what's going on with you? Mm -hmm. 
John D. Mozzini said they think the public lobby is restricted. Yeah, they 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 very confused. A lot of a lot of confusion going on up in here. You know, as soon as the camera come in, everybody wanna get to running and ducking and hiding and being condescending and disrespecting and trying to violate, trying to take away your freedom just because you trying to get some answers. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 uncalled for. You know, who 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 do I who do I talk to? You know, who 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 has the answers around here? What the hell is going on around here? <laughs> so I don't know, man. I'm gonna stick around for a couple more minutes and see if anybody show up. But I don't think they come. I think he was just trying to intimidate. You know what I'm saying? He thought I was just going to be like, oh, the police is coming? Well, let me get on my way. No. Get dirty. But I want to call him something right now, but I'm, I'm going to hold my tongue. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm to I'm 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 keep it PG. But I will be at City Hall later on at the city, uh, what's it called? The uh, city council meeting later on today. So... Y'all gonna see him again. Y'all gonna see what he look like. I'm about to go probably go home and do the edit. But I, I'm not gonna publish it until I actually speak with the mayor. The mayor is a queen, so hopefully she got some sense. You know what I'm saying? Because it seemed like everybody up under her from the um the city manager, from the city manager secretary from the city attorney, he he a bozo. He don't know what the hell he doing. Um, the city council, they obviously don't know what they doing. And then you got, then it trickles down to the police state, to the police department, bozos. You know, that's, that's unself-explanatory. Starting from the, uh, the chief, Chief uh, Milk Dud Kimball. With his milk dud head ass. Then it trickles down to all the order followers up under him. You know, just a straight bozo show in the city of Killeen. And, and this is all for me trying to find out why do I have to provide my address in order to speak at a public meeting? You know what I'm saying? That's the all I was trying to figure out yesterday was... Where does it say they showed me the policy? It don't say nothing about me having to provide a address to speak at a public meeting. They showed me the policy, they didn't say nothing. So I'm like, okay, where does it say that? Well, this is how we do it. If you don't like it, you you cannot speak. I'm like, well, who who said who says that I have to provide the address? What 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 are you going by? Because I because I said so. Because you said so. No, buddy. No, bucko. That's not how this works. Buddy, old pal. <laughs> this is not how it works. You now you got to talk and speak in their language. Oh, bucko. <laughs> you know, so, you know, this, this is all this is all about. You know, I'm just trying to figure out where does it say that? What law are you going by? What policy are, are you going by that, 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 requires me to provide my address because the way that y'all treated me why would i give y'all my address that's the killer part why would i give you my address and you guys are out here trying to um trying to thug me out you know what i'm saying trying to you know trying to intimidate and trying to you know extort and trying to brutalize and trying to take away my freedom why would i give you my address you know, I'm just trying to redress my government and they make it damn hard, you know? So hopefully the mayor got some sense because she a queen, you know? I haven't really came across no, no, no queens yet. So hopefully the one queen that I come across actually got some sense and I can actually be professional and that can actually give me some answers because everybody up under her need to need to get refunded. They need to be 
just just throw the whole just throw the whole department away. You know, just throw the whole just throw the whole city away. Just throw the whole city away, to be honest, because y'all y'all out here just corrupt as hell. You know what I'm saying? Hang all these order followers right here. Look at him. They don't want, they ain't, ain't nobody thinking about this bogus ass city manager. They're like, man, what are you talking about, Kent? <laughs> what are you talking about, Kent? What did he do? Well, he came up to me. He, he started asking me questions. And okay, well, what is the crime, sir? Well, he, he I'm, I'm in fear for my life. He has a camera. You need to get up here ASAP. I am the city manager. Arr, looking ass. <laughs> ah. And then, uh, then I, I asked the, uh, the 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 city auditor a question to go try to figure out if he actually called the police, and he goes in there and try to figure it out, and then comes back and just walk right past me, don't even address me. And now, now I guess they get they all getting orders to to just ignore me, don't say nothing to me. What kind of what kind of stuff is that? You know. What kind of what kind of stuff is that? What kind of way is that to treat the, the public, the taxpayer? Rhonda, what's going on with you? De facto media group. What up though? You say I would love to share you on my channel. Hey, you got my blessing, brother. So Yeah, I'm trying to just trying to redress my government, man. Ghani Drew, what's going on? He said smash that like button. Yeah, go ahead and bow tie that like button for you, boy. We we out here just trying to trying to redress the gov. Redress the good old gov. That's all we trying to do. Nothing nefarious, no ill will. That's all we trying to do. Why is it so hard for us to get some masses around here? Dang, what's up with the chat? Let me see. That's all we trying to do. But wait till y'all see the video. I'm going I'm gonna, I'm gonna, to um, start working on it tonight. And um, and then I'm going to probably post it within the next couple of days. I'm going to be talking with them here tomorrow. So hopefully she got some sense in her head. And she's able to treat the public with a little bit of respect. That's all we asking for. And um, hopefully I get some answers to number one. Uh, Mayor, if you're watching this, this is what's going to be the topic of our discussion. Number one, what's going on with that unlawful ordinance 16-107 that I addressed with you guys a year ago. And I haven't heard anything as far as it being amended or nothing. Uh, you said the last that I heard, you said you were going to... You were gonna address that and and get with the city attorney and find out, you know, if that law still needs to be on the books because it's unconstitutional. It doesn't match up with the state law. This is an interference uh, ordinance. It doesn't it doesn't match up with the state law. It's vague. It's vague, constitutionally vague, and it basically. Um, puts the interpretation of, of the order follower, you know, it gives the order follower sole power to say, oh, oh, you took my attention away from my investigation. You are breaking the law, young man. All because I said, if you are a passenger, you don't have to identify. So all of a sudden I'm breaking the law because you have a city ordinance that says if any, basically if anybody speaks and takes the order follower's attention away from his job, you breaking the law, you breaking that city ordinance. So I'm trying to get that off the books. So that's what I'm gonna be addressing is what happened after I spoke with you guys last year. Why hasn't I why hasn't it been addressed? 
and what's going to happen from here on going forward. Number two, what's going on in this city? What's going on with all these people running around here doing the things that they doing? Why is the city manager speaking to me in that in that tone in that manner? What what have what 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 are you guys telling these people about me? You know what, what's what's really what's really going on? Because I haven't broken any laws to date. Law-abiding citizen. Just because I hold a camera and I'm a little different from the average citizen, you know, that don't mean you have to treat me like shit. You see, you see why I gotta hold the camera? Because every time I come around, this is how you, this is how I'm being treated. And it's, it's, I hate to see that. I would hate to, to know that this is how they treat everybody. You know, I wouldn't be surprised because you don't see nobody coming up in there doing nothing no more. This city halls are always empty. You know what I'm saying? And, and it makes sense because everybody that probably come up in there, get the run around, they get turned around, they get sent over here, they get nobody's here. Oh, he's not here. You have to call and make a why do I have to call or email somebody to make an appointment when I'm standing in front of you? That's the same thing the city managers told me. I'm standing right in front of him. He's going to tell me to to, to call and, and make an appointment. You you standing right here in front of me. Your secretary is standing right next to you, but I got a call to make an appointment. What kind of sense do that make? So... So that's that's gonna be the topic of discussion for the mayor if you're watching. But um abolish slavery says standing with you, brother. I appreciate that. Much love. I ain't got my big bees today. I actually got some 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 bigger bees on um on order right now. I can't wait to can't wait till y'all see that. Them them bees big as hell. <laughs> y'all gonna be like, damn, he big bee nation for real. <laughs> Ew, nah, wait till y'all see them bees, boy. They gonna be looking crazy. <laughs> but um, yeah, I guess they I guess they not coming. Um, Les Hicks said the ordinance violates the Texas Constitution supremacy clause. Absolutely. Yeah, you can't you can't make a you can't make a, a ordinance that that goes directly against the state law or the Constitution. Like, what kind of sense do that make? You know, you can't you can't do that. You actually they actually breaking the law. Thirty nine point zero three, official oppression. That's exactly what this is. You use the un, you use the you use the ordinance that should have been off the books in 1987, when Houston City of Houston versus Hill. That's that's basically the same thing that I'm going through is what happened in that case. You know, the guy was basically you know standing on the sidewalk, and he was watching the order follower accost this man and getting rough with the man. And so he told the order follower like, hey man, why don't you do that to me? Come over here and do that to me. Why are you messing with this homeless man? Da, 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 da. So I guess they ain't coming. Okay, we might have some action. Nope. They know that I'm over here. That's why they buzzing right now. That's why they buzzing. You know, every time, every time they know I'm in the area, they get the buzzing, trying to, trying to get on, trying to get on. No question about this channel. That's, that's basically what they doing. Hopefully, I get the run on him and I can make a cameo. Yeah, all right. Make sure your ass acting, acting accordingly. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you make sure you're honoring your oath. <laughs> make sure you got some sense when you come when you when you speak to the public. You hear me? But um, but yeah, like I was saying, so you know, he he was telling the, the order follower, like, you know, 
do that to me. Why you over here messing with this homeless man? So they end up arresting him and he beat the charge. And then the same, and he, so he kept doing the same thing, basically probably doing what I do. I don't know if he, he re recording the police, but he basically be around the police and exercising his right to free speech and, um, and talking to the cops, talking to whoever he could talk to. You ain't just cause you're somebody on the traffic stop. Don't mean that your speech is silent. That's your speech got to be silent. Oh, you can't talk to the cop. You can't talk to the detainee. That's BS. Because the First Amendment says we have the freedom of speech. So how can you turn that into a crime because you because you over here trying to extort somebody? You know what I'm saying? So long story short, the guy Hill in the, in the, in the case president, city of Houston versus Hill, he ended up getting arrested four different times for the same bogus ass ordinance that they arrested me on. And then, and then, but he beat it all four times. And then, and then, and so what he, what any, what he ended up doing was, you know, appealing it up to the, to the Supreme court. And they looking at the shit, like, I think it was Thurgood Marshall was like, um, at the time was like, Hey, why does, uh, why are we over here listening to this this case? And he he won the case. Why are we Why are we here? And they're like, well, we need to set a president that says, you know, speech can't be deemed interference. And you know, he's he's been arrested four times regarding it, and they're gonna keep arresting him. And he's gonna keep beating charges. You know, so we need to establish a firm, establish it within the, you know, case precedents that speech alone cannot be deemed interference and 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 they approved it so at that point anybody that's in this in this district in the fifth in the, or even in the country if anybody got an ordinance or a law that's on the books that goes directly against that the first amendment the case precedents they got to come off the books why is this ordinance still on the books since 1987? They still out here generating revenue off of it. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm here. They they unlawfully arrested me for saying, if you're a passenger, you don't have to identify with a bogus ass ordinance that should have been off the books in 87. I was four years old. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we're here. Cause they they've been sitting on their ass since 1987, ain't doing nothing. You know, so enter no question about it. And then they want to turn this shit into a damn Mario Brothers. You know, you got to go beat all the levels in order to get to the boss. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what they treating like a video game. Do, 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 do. I'm busting bricks and shit. You know what I'm saying? What kind of what kind of shit is that? You know they got me busting bricks trying to trying to figure out how to get to the boss and how to get some shit changed. You know that shit crazy. Les Hicks said, "Thanks for using the correct term of case president and not the erroneous case law." Absolutely. I got that from you. <laughs> yes, sir. I appreciate the education, brother. <laughs> yes, sir. Melanie M., how you doing? She said, orders are for employees only. We are free people. Absolutely. You can't, you can't be, you know, telling me that, oh, it's a policy. No, sir. We don't follow policy. We free people. You know, we only follow law. Les Hicks said, you may, you may need to send the case info to the state attorney general. Yeah, I need to send that to the damn uh, Department of Justice. Because um, these boys are violating all kind of uh, laws. And it's not like I haven't notified them. I, we brought it to the city, city council a year ago, and I let them know that they are actually breaking the law they breaking the, the the constitution and then they also breaking state law 39.02 39.03 Texas penal code so they they know they breaking the law but yet they 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 still choose to ignore it
Melanie said, we're living in the period of anti-service, but artists will shake things up. Absolutely. You know, them artists going gonna, to gonna get, get your ass in shape like a Tybo video. <laughs> We gonna put. We gonna hold your ass accountable. We gonna. We gonna. We gonna. We gonna, we gonna hold you to your oath into the constitution. Like my man Eli, free Eli, man. What's what's going on? They done locked my man up for eight years for what? For recording in public. Bogus, bro. They bogus. Melanie said, our lawmakers don't use our constitution as a guide. They just use their feelings and beliefs like people did before our Bill of Rights. Yeah, that's that's what basically what they doing. You know, he tried to, the city manager, Kent Cagle, tried to, tried to get the uh, KPD to enforce feelings, but uh, they, they probably, you know, stemming from that January 4th incident where they, they pulled me over without a crime. They probably like, oh no, we don't want no smoke. Mr. Butler is not committing any crimes. He knows the law better than we do. So just they probably told him, just ignore him. Just disrespect them. Don't give them no service. Just ignore them. So yeah, he, he tried to get them into enforce some feelings, but it ain't work. BCS Transparency, what's going on? He said the wheels of justice turn slow, but they are turning. Man, I can't tell, bro. I can't even tell. Boo Boo, who the hell is Boo Boo? He said, why don't you... <laughs> why don't you go home and study plumbing or electronics or car repair or enroll at a local college to be a RN? I actually was in uh, was in college and studying to be a RE. I made it all the way to block four, the nursing program, and I failed. I failed the program, uh, block four, and then I was gonna re-enroll, but I'll end up transitioning out here, and then end up getting harassed by these order followers. So I changed. I changed. Uh, I changed careers, <laughs> you know? Plus, I didn't want to get the jab. So I'm like, nah, I don't know about it. They talking about, yeah, you're going to have to get the jab if you want to become an RN. I said, I don't know if I want to revisit that program, you know, because ain't no telling what the hell they got up in these damn, you know, they out here, people dropping like flies off that jab. No disrespect to anybody that got it, but not I said the cat. Abolish slavery said I think Boo Boo was butt hurt. Yeah, why you why you so what's what's all the animosity about Boo Boo? Talk to me. I talk back. <laughs> uh, yeah. Free Eric Bank. Absolutely. Free Marvin Guy. Les Hicks said, knowing the law better than bad tyrannical cowards is extremely easy. Yeah, because I, I heard that they don't they don't hire police if you got an IQ greater than 85. So if you're planning on being a police officer, just bomb the test and you'll get the job. Ooh, I might have to steal that one, Jonathan. He said, I have a new personal policy. If somebody tries to enforce their policy on me, they owe me $50. <laughs> nah, they owe me 150000 But I'll settle out of court for $20. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I might have to use that one for sure. Tapatio's car wash. What's going on with you, man? Good to see you. Good to hear from you, man. I hope everybody doing well out there in Arizona. Y'all boys got y'all hands full. 
Yeah, so I guess we ain't, we ain't getting no uh no police activity. So you know, but I will be. I'm gonna go home and get 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 fresh and freshened up. Put on my big bees and my bow tie, and then I'll be at the city council later on uh, to try to get some more answers. So, um, hopefully, I ain't waste everybody's time. Hopefully, y'all learned a little bit. But um, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. You know, it's always a pleasure. Um, and like I always say, don't let them dig all off of in your amendments, nah. You hear me? And we out. Ow.